You have the eyes? Here, we can do a video from this point on. Because on our way back, you and Emily are coming with us in the van and we're going to stop at a few places. Oh, it looks like there's some... Yeah, we're going to go past the building or the rooms over there. We'll look at that on the way back. Just follow the arrows. So today we're just uh, doing a little tour of a ship here. Um, it's a little bit strange now that things are social distance, but I think the museums are commonly... Um, a lot less people, so it's it's still really good. Here's this man cooking food. Okay. Yeah. Cab with sliding doors, a two, a twenty p HP engine, with and worm final drive. It cost seven hundred fifty dollars new. I have no clue what the bottom says. Because it's all scratched up. Technical specifications. Motor four cylinder, 20 horsepower. Transmission two speed. Planetary two speed auxiliary. KLHS Museum Collection. Just write your name. Can I write Kaylee's name? Yeah. yeah. Or Caleb's. Or both the boys. Or all the kids. Or all the family's names. stopped and had some lunch at this place called Yavis or Yavis. I don't know. It's a good restaurant. It's very like just show like people food. Um, now we're just headed back on the highway to get to the farm and take some pictures, look around a bit. It shall be fun. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
high. It's a bit hard, I think. Spent a lot of time here as a kid, and it's a bit sad that it's not going to be in the family anymore. I mean, it's kind of like falling down and on its last legs, but yeah, what are you to do, right? Sometimes memories just go to be memories. So, I'm just using a mask because there's lots of um, mouth droppings and stuff. So I just want to be safe here. It stinks really bad. <laughs> like, just rancid. Um, yeah, it's crazy that this isn't going to be part of our family anymore. <laughs> this is funny. I wrote this last time we were here for anyone that came back. I just I can't even stop it up. <laughs> this is funny, this this year we used to think it was haunted because every time we'd come, instead of it being like this straight, it's always crooked and we'd say my great grandma and great grandpa were having a party. Oh, <laughs> this is our pearl body wash. These how giant these old cupboards are. Oh. I might actually take a roll of this to put in the van. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. It's funny. It's like... It's crazy how... Things have changed in my life. Like, I remember coming out here as a little girl, and there used to be a couch here. This is where my grandparents used to sleep, and I would get to sleep on the couch with them. And <laughs> this closet is empty now, but it used to be packed full of old, different old uh, things and. Just, just memories, right? Like, this, I would sit here and get ready with my grandma in the morning, and what? Uh, it stinks. So, yeah. I'm going down to the basement. I've only been down here a couple of times, actually. The whole time we used to come out here. Um, we never really used to come out here when it was cold. And the only, like, real reason you should need to go down here is to check the water level and to light the furnace. So, I didn't spend a whole lot of time down here. It's kind of like... You've already went down. Grudgy a bit. I want to go in the middle so I can really pretend. Like it reminds me of uh, I'm a scary no. movie. <laughs> See, like it's just spooky, just pretty creepy. I like it down here. And it smells kind of like a wet dirt cave. <laughs> 
here's the furnace though you can't really see it but you would like put the coal in that little square box and then it would light the furnace or it would keep the furnace um, going and then there's some creepy stuff in here so this is the outside of the farm there's the old chicken coop and the bunkhouse back there is the outhouse there's a playground right here that we used to play on and then here's the old like windmill water well pumping system and the grass is very long oh watch it there's a pole there there's a pole <laughs> and then here's the fire pit and there's the barn in the background again yeah it's just kind of I don't know this is this is my childhood right here I'm getting a little emotional are you running there? are you figuring out the coast? Four, four, four. And here is a la shop. So here at the farm we had two outside buildings. One was called the engine shed and one was called the shop or garage. Um, yeah, this is kind of where all the junk was stored. There's patio furniture and a barbecue and all sorts of random junk. Kids outside toys and um, what looks like a a nest of some sort right there yeah just tons of stuff so this is the inside of the bunkhouse that little building that i showed you in the video so now we're just taking a little jaunt around the property here just looking at the outdoor buildings and everything it's hot here today Holy moly, I forgot how hot it gets here. Like, down in the valley where Drumheller actually is, it's not too hot, but this is one of the highest points in all of, um, in all of the, like, Drumheller area. So, it's pretty hot. Like, a bunch of old cars and the view. And then here's the other side of that barn I showed you earlier. Dad. I think it's absolutely amazing that the time we come out here to say goodbye, this lake out here that's usually a field is just filled with water and it just, I don't know, it kind of touches me like I just see God's goodness all over and the beautiful day today was kind of a blessing to me that we could come out here and it's just gorgeous and our goodbye didn't have to be in the rain or the snow and it's just just an absolutely beautiful day i just feel so blessed that that was given to me today i feel like during this time when we've been getting ready to go on our mission journey, it's actually been kind of hard for me to say goodbye to things. And the fact that we were still here to say goodbye to the farm, it just really, really, I don't know, I just really feel so much thankfulness, I guess. So, I'm just so happy.
I figure since we're gonna start sharing everything with you, we'll start sharing these little daily things as well. Yeah, do all of it. A little bit quicker, okay? Are we scoping the car? Yeah, go. The doors. Okay, I gotta do the next one because it's like high pressure. Good job. Are you okay, Emily? <laughs> 